Right then. I'm sat in my van, just come out at King Henry. Got me two favourite birds with me. The gorgeous Beverly and the gorgeous Claire who's stepping off as <laughs> stepping off as I speak, it must be somebody to do with this van. <laughs> anyway, we've been at King Henry. We've had the worst steak you could possibly have together with cold chips, so I won't be dashing up there if how we are. Not unless you like burnt steak and cold chips, that is. Anyway, it's Bevel Beverly's on the camera, of course. Last time for quite a while. Uh, and I've just got something going on in my head here. You won't believe it, but... Bloody recycling, what's all that about? Recycling, who's thought of that? It's only happened recently, that recycling job, probably two or three years. Everything used to go up chimney when I was a kid. Fire back it, the one on rubbish. Anyway, I've had a thing through from council. And it's, uh, we've got a list and you put your bottles and your cans in blue box, allegedly. I don't know if they melt them down and I must call them cons or battles or something. I don't know what they do, Cat cattles or something. Mix your bottles and cans. You've got your, your blue bag, that is now for cardboard and newspapers. Don't put any polythene in here for God's sake. You've got your green bin for grass cuttings, garden waste. You've got your black bin, all sorts of waste. You've got plastic, somewhere to put your plastic bottles. We're recycling out. Beauty is we pour us oil into a big tank and then they clean it and sell it as back. You can buy a compost bin for all your veggies and food wastes. And also, if all that fails, you can get yourself a skip or you can nip down a them greedy bastard Tesco. They've got a, a array of recycling things down there where you can take your old shoes. That's if you don't leave them back in a taxi. You can also take cardboard, clothing, uh, well, you can take all what you want. The best thing with clothes is buy them straight from Tesco. Don't take them home, chuck them straight into clothing skip because they're shite. But basically, it's like a full-time jo full job recycling. When I was younger, all we had was the dump it site, what, what is now called a recycling plant. So if you've got any extra rubbish, go up there, put it in your black bag, and as you're going up to skip, guess the hopper they'll approach you and say, where are you going with that like? So, so I'm chucking it in here. So I say, let's have a look. No, you're not. Wood goes in wood skip. Bloody plastic in plastic skip. Close any, you can go on and on with the fuckers. It's actually a full time job. And I'll tell you something, I can't actually wait while I snuff it because this is the bad bit for them who die. When you recycle yourself, I, I you put yourself in earth or go up chimney, you'll take your pick for me. The old undertaker will come round with his morbid face and he'll be ever so sorry for your loss and then he'll relieve you at about 3,000 quid budget <laughs> price. Or, well, if you want to hand me up a bit, you'll not be able to, I'd advise not, but you can pay all up to four, five, six thousand quid, also on earth, bag of mashings, the lot. Or you can go to burial ground at Ollie for an eco funeral, which means your coffin is made of cobble, but it's still a FDO price. And you get a layman saying a few words. Anyway, that's it. I am off to do some recycling. Bevy's off to Australia. Hey! <laughs> Claire's off to Tenerife, hey! And we're my going, Yorkshire Deals, with me Brolly and me Wellingtons. See you later, suckers, enjoy!